This past spring, the land on which one of the last remaining prairie dog towns in eastern Nebraska sat was sold to a private party. They subsequently plowed up the prairie dog town and planted agricultural crops over top. Since that has happened, many prairie dogs have been shot and babies were orphaned and others succumbed to stress and lack of quality food forage. Together with Audubon of Kansas and the Humane Society of the United States, Nebraska Wildlife Rehab has stepped in to try to mitigate some of the damage done to the prairie dogs. Because there's no way to reverse the agriculture and because the land now belongs to a private party, the only choice we have is to trap the remaining prairie dogs and relocate them to the Hutton Niobrara Ranch and Wildlife Sanctuary owned by Audubon of Kansas. Right now what we're doing is we're flagging all of the prairie dog holes to make sure that when we begin trapping we don't miss any of the holes. We also want to over the next week or two be able to feed these prairie dogs so that they are not killing crops in order to find food. So if we mark all the holes we'll be able to reliably feed each hole every time we come out um, to do that sort of work. So right now we just have to hike the entire property and make sure that we know where every hole for a prairie dog is located. Holes to go. Prairie dog towns are vital and unique ecosystems. As a keystone species, provide housing and food for dozens of other species that coexist alongside of them, including the endangered black footed ferret. Black footed ferrets are a native species that are dependent on prairie dogs. They're almost 100% of their diet comes from prairie dogs. And they were extirpated from our state uh, many decades ago. And we did, uh, our zoo participated in an active breeding program to return this endangered species to the wild. But unfortunately, they couldn't be returned to Nebraska because there are no safe places for black footed ferrets in our state. And if we're going to create a state that preserves our natural legacy, we need to protect the prairie dogs first, and then we can um, support the reintroduction of black footed ferrets. So that was just 10. So we started trapping efforts last week, um, but weren't quite successful. So there are still a lot of traps sitting out here that are closed. Um, we took some time with our partners to uh, come up with a better trapping plan that has more chance of success. And so we're setting the groundwork for that plan right now and, and asking for people to help us make this work for these prairie dogs. 20. We believe that this colony supported at least 300 prairie dogs. Um, before it was tilled. So um, we're hoping to get 100 prairie dogs off this property uh, in the month of June, uh, but we have to be realistic about how much damage has been done and how many prairie dogs have already died. Time is of the essence. We only have until the end of June to trap all of the prairie dogs remaining on the property and move them to safety. You can help us now by making a donation to the Prairie Dog Relocation Project on our website at www.nebraskawildliferehab.org. Just click on the Prairie Dog link in the middle of the homepage and make your donation there. We so appreciate your support.